Hi and welcome to C programming. In today's class we're going to learn about equality and relational operators as well as the AND and OR operator. Before we continue, let's quickly just refer back to the three core principles of C programming. First, it's sequential. Sequential programming is top-down programming. We work from the top and we work our way down to the bottom. Then we have decisions. Decisions is based on a certain condition. We choose, let's say for instance, left or right, yes or no, true or false. And if it's true, we do certain things, or if it's false, we do certain things. And then we have repetition. We have found that in programming, we need to repeat certain steps quite often. And it's nice to do this with repetition structures. So the three core principles of programming is sequence, decisions, and repetition. So in this section, we will focus on decisions. To make a decision, and to make a very intelligent decision, we need to understand that we need to have a certain condition that will determine the outcome of our decision. So, to make a decision, we need to use equality and relational operators. If we have a look at equality and relational operators, the first one is, is equal. So, this must not be confused with a single equal sign. Let's say, for instance, if we say x is equal to y with one equal sign, then x becomes y, or the value of y will be stored into x. With equality operators, it's a double equal sign. So we say x double equal y. And this is used to compare if the value of x is equal to the value of y and the result will be either a true or a false thereafter we can get the is not equal sign and that's an exclamation mark and an equal sign thus we compare is x not equal to y and this will also result in a true or a false then we get the standard bigger than and smaller than signs as well as the bigger than and equal and smaller than and equal. Please note that it's first the bigger than and then the equal sign with the bigger than and equal and the same for the smaller than and equal. First the smaller than sign and then the equal in C programming. Now that we understand equality and relational operators, we can also have a look at the and and the or. Operator. The AND operator truth, ta truth table you can see on the left hand side where we have X, Y as our two inputs and we, there will be a result out that will be either a false or a true. So let's say for instance with the AND truth table we see that X is false and Y is false. The output will be false. The same if x is false and y is true, or the up flip side, x is true and y is false, the output will still be false. Only in the case where x and y is true, will the output or the result be a true. So that's the truth table for the AND. Then the truth table for the OR gate or OR operator if x and y is false, the result will be false. And then if x is true, or only y is true, or both of them is true, the result or the output will be true. And that's the big difference between AND and OR gate. So using the AND and OR, or together with the equality and relational operator, Complex and intelligent conditions can be created to make decisions in C programming. This will help you and guide you to formulate these conditions by using these basics of equality in relational operator and and an OR operator. 
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon in the next lesson.